Here is the funniest story I've heard all week. Former Vice President Al Bohr has been making the rounds of Hollywood's illiberal losers and B-list media types trying to see if he can create a, quote, liberal television and radio network. Newsflash, Al Gore. The TV networks, all of them, are already liberal. Even the BBC over in England is liberal. But actually, I hope he does it just so I can watch another one fail, and it will because there's not a liberal out there who has the talent or a message with lasting power in radio or television. Just for fun, let's see how the Bohr TV network would report some of the big stories from his distorted liberal point of view. On the 911 attacks, Gore's network would say, America's refusal to embrace multicultural viewpoints led an oppressed Islamic minority to lash out at our racist culture. We have no one to blame for the deaths of thousands but our own selfishness in America. On Jessica Lynch, Gore TV would probably say, the United States military fabricated a daring nighttime raid to create even more support for the war in Iraq, which we know was all about oil for Republican gas-guzzling SUVs and not about the liberation of an oppressed people. One of Al Gore's pet issues is global warming. I can prove to you that it doesn't exist in two words. Ice Age. It's simple. My friend Maurice taught it to me. The Ice Age ended. The ice melted long before there was industry long before the internal combustion engine and automobiles. All the things that Al Gore points to as causes of global warming did not exist when there was the first example of global warming and the ice caps started to melt. If Al Gore had been around at the end of his, uh, at the ice age, his TV network would probably have said, civilization came to an end today due to global warming. It began when methane gases released by flatulent dinosaurs heated Earth's atmosphere and caused the polar ice caps to melt leading to their extinction, so we want to outlaw dinosaurs. <laughs> and that's where the term fossil fuel <laughs> came from.